Hello everyone. Today we will learn how to use algebraic identities to expand the algebraic expressions. If you like the video, hit the like, subscribe button and share my channel link with your friends and also write the comment in the comment section. So here the question is 2x plus 3y whole square. So how we can expand this algebraic expression using the algebraic identity? So identity which we are going to use is a plus b whole square equals to a square plus 2ab plus b square. So here if you will see it is also in the form of a plus b whole square where the value of a is equals to 2x and the value of b is equals to 3y. So we have to substitute the value of a and b in the formula. So formula is a square plus 2ab plus b square. So we will just write down the values of a and b in the formula. So a 2x whole square plus 2 into in place of a 2x in place of b 3y plus 3y whole square. Now after this 2 square x square 2x whole square means the square of 2 also and the square of x also plus we will get 2 into 2 into 3 which is equals to 12 into xy plus 3 square y square. So we will get here 4 x square plus 12 xy plus 9y square. So this is how you can use this particular identity. So solve such algebraic expressions. Now if the question is about find the value of 1001 whole square without using the calculator. So in that case we have to make it simple and how we can make it simple we can change it into 1000 plus 1 whole square and we can use this identity to calculate the value of this particular question. So here we have a plus b whole square and in this case the value of a is equals to 1000 and the value of b is equals to 1. So we will use the formula a square plus 2ab plus b square. So the value of a is 1000 whole square plus 2 into 1000 the value of a the value of b is 1 plus 1 square. So if I have to calculate the square of 1000, so 1, 2, 3 zeros I will put for 1, 1000 and the another 3 zeros I will put for another 1000 when we will multiply it plus 2000 plus 1. So the answer for this question is 1002001. That means 1,002001. Now in this question we will use the identity which is a minus b whole square which is equals to a square minus 2ab plus b square. Only the difference is here. In the previous identity we have this plus 2ab and in this identity we have this as minus 2ab. So if I will compare this with this formula so the value of a is equals to 2 by 3x and the value of b is equals to 6 not minus 6 it is 6. Now we will put it in the formula a square minus 2ab plus b square. So we will write down the values here 2 by 3 x whole square minus 2 into a is 2 by 3 x and b is 6 plus 6 whole square. So 3 ones are 3, 3 twos are 6 we can simplify that. Now here we will get 2 square 3 square x square whatever the values will be there within the bracket we have to take the square of each and every value minus 2 into 2 is 4 4 into 2 is 8 8x plus 36 so when we will solve it we will get it as 4 over 9 x square minus 8x plus 36 now in this if I will take an example of a question 197 whole square and I am not supposed to multiply the number twice. So I can do this question by this particular identity. So just learn how. So 197 can be written as 200 minus 3 whole square. So if I will compare this with the formula a minus b whole square the value of a is equals to 200 the value of b is equals to 3. That means if I will substitute the values in the formula a square minus 2ab plus b square the value will be 200 whole square minus 2 into 200 
into 3 plus c square. I will get it equals to 2 twos are 4, 2 zeros for 1 200 and another 2 zeros for another 200 minus 2 twos are 4, 4 threes are 12 and these 2 zeros I will add here plus 9. So it will be equals to 0, 9 minus 1200 and when we will subtract it we will get it equals to 38,809. So this is how you can use the different identities to solve such mathematical questions.